everyone, welcome back to Pause from Plays Blasphemous. So I'm going to actually go uh, through this hidden wall here, and we will, first of all, we'll drop off our uh, collectible. We'd receive one more. There we go, place that there. Um, and then I'm gonna go through this other wall here. We're gonna go into um, the Desecrated Sister. Now, this was the area from the beta. And I'm curious if it is the same, uh, if it is even something we can progress through this early in the game. Now, I do have a little bit of a penalty to my MP bar at the moment because I uh, took a death at the end of the last video. Metacarpus of Hodges the Blacksmith. Blacksmith Brendan Hodges forged some of Custodia's most beautiful weapons, wielded by the Anointed Legion themselves. Destiny, Destiny wanted it to be one of his weapons that killed him. Oof. That is rough. Alright, so we've dealt with these jokers and their ranged attacks before. below us, but it doesn't look like anything. I do see spikes down there. Again, spikes are insta-kill, so we <laughs> would try to avoid landing on those, if at all possible. We have a shrine here. Yeah, so we can wall climb. jam our sword into these structures here. Wow, you actually dodged out of the way of that. That's impressive. Oh, I was gonna say, I bet this guy's coming out of here. It's fine, bell fellow. Now these are rough because not only do they knock you off the walls, but um, you can't always slide past them. Fortunately, our heal comes out very quickly. But of course we are out of them. I could go back and... Yeah, that's maybe not a bad idea, actually. Let's we'll go back and we'll refill. This is we'll respawn the enemies. Seems worth it. I am amazed that those guys are able to do that. All right, we're actually just gonna zip by these here. Now, I don't wanna skip too many enemies in the future because we will need... Ooh, wanna, don't wanna jump from a great height when you're falling onto the area covering spikes. There we go, we hit him that time. So any crumbling platforms like that will, uh... You know, I'm actually gonna turn up the ambient music a little bit, even though I know it's gonna be loud during boss fights. So this is actually a tricky spot with this guy. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if... We're gonna have this to deal with. Oh, yes we do, okay. Speaking of boss fights. Now, this isn't a true boss, but some form of mini boss. It's uh, Avenging Angel here. And they can parry.
fortunately gives us quite a bit of leeway. Ooh, the sister achievement unlocked. Got them. To his protection. So we have no available offerings for this tree. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Ribbon of crimson cloth, carefully rolled and still scented with ancient oils. You know, until Legion wrapped their bodies in these soft ribbons and anointed the protective oils, contrasted to their otherwise heavy armor. Protection against lightning attacks. Or we'll do that. Hmm. Still talking to her as if she were there by his bedside. Dead sister. Seems if they're arguing. He's long gone, hasn't been seen since. Oh dear. Hello, friend. Anything to one. We traverse strange roads under the same firmament. With nigh other trade, nigh other name. My name is Redento, barefoot the pilgrim of the Order of the Genuflectors. Prithee, take it nigh affront in my not looking at thy visage. For we, at each moment, lean forth so as not to divert our eyes from the path. Such is our old precept. You notice he's got like an actual literal weight around his we neck, so he always has to look at his a path. A great buried bell, erected upside down so that its ringing would make the earth tremble and reach distant lands. Now Honda resoundeth in a deep triune moan that traveleth in echoes through its broad spiraling circles. My feet wish to cross to the other side of this ancient valley to move on to the next destination. Oh, my sins, who could help me? I halt here to look for a crossing to the other side so as to continue my penance in wandering. Penitent one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. We'll help you. So these, when they are struck, or there's a ringing, they, uh, they emit a pulse. I'm noticing, however, that the layout of this is already different. Previously, that one was hanging um, down here. So that's very interesting. So this is already different from the beta. Scapula of Carlos, the Executioner. His hatred for people was as great as his love for animals. When he was ordered to execute a dog that had bitten a bishop, Carlos refused for the first and last time. Good on you, Carlos. I respect that. So these bell ringers will cause these to all pulse. Oh no, we can't actually strike them themselves, it's only from the bell ringers. There are some times when we can do that, but I think they're different shaped ones. Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna take out this guy before we go up there, because he is very likely to knock us off the edge. And we're kind of doing this in uh, unintended hard mode here, because I am short some of my blue bar. So I'm ever, only ever going to have two available hits. Uh, now we can't get up there just yet, which I'm gonna have to try to remember to come back to. AK, one of you fine folks in the comments are probably gonna have to remind me of that. Come here. Oh, you have a long wind up time. A really long wind up time. But not always. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, you know what? We don't want to be here. Yeah, I was going to say, that's going to get me in trouble. Ah, yes, the whales of the damned in the background. Always nice. Really adds kind of a homey feeling to the place, doesn't it? 
Uh, Alright, let's head up here. Now there should be, I was gonna say, there should be a shrine up here. Ooh, that was a little closer than I would have liked. Nice toss, dude. So these are the ones we can hit. Kind of shows you how that mechanic works. We can actually come back up here and make ourselves a shortcut. Very handy. Um, let's see, there's a couple of ways we can go down here. We'll have to go through all of them. Yeah, because this is our ultimate goal here. We've got this uh, enormous kind of bell container in the background that we need to deal with. Their range is a little longer than I remembered. I'll take this path first. Now if you watch me play the, uh oh, beta, you'll know that I got myself in trouble here a few times. Damn, that range is actually insane. Um. Yes, we want to slide under there, but then I have to remember that I need to slide back out onto the elevator, because if we don't go on the elevator, we're going to have a bad time. Uh, vertebra of John the Gambler, known for his gambling skills, and you believe that John von Gammerens, Gammerman's fate was guided by the high wills. Day his luck ran out, so did his life. All right, slide back on here. There we go. I get caught by that trap. I'm actually going to use a flask here. Um, this is going to be tricky because we actually have to climb upwards but not get tagged by these shockwaves like I just did. Alright, made it there. There's an item for us. If we can make it. It's an empty bile vessel. So this will actually, uh, we need to find a blood shrine, I believe it is. Something like that, some sort of shrine. Um, and we'll be able to fill that and it will give us a permanent extra vial, which is, needless to say, incredibly valuable. Uh, I don't think we want to go into this room yet. This room is scary. Here we go, here it is. Yes. We will have to pay, but that will refill our vials and gives us now this one filled. And I believe every time we uh, we hit a shrine now, that will be refilled permanently, which is nice. It's a huge boon. So there's a statue up there. You also notice that when we do that attack, it gives us some invincibility frames too. Um, so for this, I believe we're gonna need to do maybe like this. There we go. They do have a small delay when you hit them like that. A little tricky. Let's get rid of this chain-wielding statue, or chain-holding statue. One of the great chains binding the great bell, as it were, has been released. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we can go here for now. 
Now this, this is a tricky puzzle. Um, what we want to do here Ah, too slow. Maybe when it, when it comes all the way down. Okay. So this one... That's interesting. I thought we could have both of these at once. I think we can. I think... Yeah, that's how we control them. Um... Let's stop that one for now. So we need this one to come up when this one is closest. So I think this will do it. So if we do this... Damn, not quite actually. There we go, nice. We have a treasure chest. Inside the treasure chest, we receive... Not of rosary rope. So we can use that to extend the number of slots we have available for our rosary and thus can equip more benefits. Which is always important. Oh. <gasps> oh no, that just counts as a bottomless pit. Oh, that's brutal. Damn. All right, well, back we go. Oh man. Yeah, accumulation of guilt. Penitent one dies during his penance. A guilt fragment is anchored in the world. The weight of guilt accumulates and reduces the gain of fervor in terms of atonement, as well as maximum fervor. Cut guilt fragments to recover, or find someone who can ease your burden. So actually, we're, we're actually sitting on a pretty big penalty right now because I didn't collect that previous one. Um, but for the sake of moving forward, there are worse things. Fortunately, all puzzles stay completed. We don't have to do them again. All shortcuts remain open. But I do have to travel back. Actually, I could have gone to the right there and saved myself some trouble, speaking of shortcuts. Yeah, so this isn't quite yet. You can see there's another, there's another chain there still. We will get that, but before we do that, I would like to explore the rest of this side. Oh man, they tried. They sure tried. The shortcuts give us a nice quick journey back up there. Let's see, have we gone... Yeah, we don't need to go to the fountain again. We just need to go up here. Ooh, nice catch. Whoops. Yeah, I got myself in trouble doing that. That was, that was a little dicey. All right, so here is our accumulation of guilt. Get some of that back. You know what? Let's not mess with this again. Let's wait. Okay. I give you a little rest point here, which is merciful. Now there is a Child of Moonlight up there. Are we able to get it? I'm, I'm not sure we can, actually. Boy, it is really close though, isn't it? I feel like maybe we can. Does... 
There we go. Now, I'm not sure if uh, we get much of anything from doing that. I'm sure we do, but uh, I, don't, I don't know what. Now, what is over here? Maybe we have another shortcut. Yeah, this is actually our uh, our save point here. That's pretty nice. Now I don't know what is up there. I think we'll go to the left for now. This was a huge mistake. Ooh, he actually ran that way. can slide oh, under them. Huh. We certainly cannot do anything here, right? That's... Huh. Interesting. I don't know how we get over there. We'll go up. All right, so this is, that'll go over to our, our friend there. And he will be able to cross. I'm sure he'll be pleased about. And there's an item down there my knowledge, we don't have the means to get it just yet, but we will, I believe, by the end of this area. Again, this is going off the, uh, the beta and the prototypes and such. That may not actually be the case in the full version. We'll certainly find out. Alright, Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. So we're back in this area. And there's another statue. Now we've got 1800. Um, I, I do want to get, ooh, I think we want to get the range, actually, boy, there's a lot of things we could get here. Um, we could also get, in addition to our combo, I think we want to save up and get the ranged attack, though. I feel like that's probably the best option right now. Ah, oh, so this area is all different as well, because this is where the, uh, it's kind of an end point of the what the hell? Oh, there are, there is fast travel. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, boy, that opens up a lot. I was not aware there was fast travel. That's fantastic. Nothing happened. Yes. Give you the knot rosary. Maximum rosary beat slots increase. I don't know what item we need to interact with that candle. Oh my. Cleanse your guilt in exchange for... Th yes, absolutely. So I did spend some of our... Uh, tears there. Whoa. Maybe I don't want to damage that. Interesting that you can. This opens a door. Map not available. What is this area? Oh my.
I was gonna say that's probably gonna catch me there. What is this area? Well, let's try to explore that one more time and then uh, we'll wrap up. Um, that's interesting though. I don't. I'm really curious as to what that is, especially because it has no map and has no enemies. We are well off the beaten path here. Um, yeah, this is just like a, a, a singular area, perhaps. What's, uh, what's scariest about this is that you really don't get any opportunities to... Uh, The jumps are all fairly precise. Ooh. Can't actually hang on that ledge. There we go. Do damn I I got myself kind of caught there. I probably just need to slide through that because you can jump from a slide. I think yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this before I finish this video because I am just extremely stubborn. And I just I really want to know what's at the end of it. It's also worth noting that I believe you can have multiple, yeah, I mean, we've kind of seen this, but not on screen, I guess, but you can have multiple guild fragments. You don't lose anything. Um, it's not like a Dark Souls situation where once you place one and then you place another, the other one goes away. It's, it's always available. I suppose unless we cleanse it and then it'll go away. Oh, you actually can't slide through those. So that's tricky. It's actually quite lenient on uh, not bonking you off the ceiling also. I appreciate. Hey, there's an item here. Benetarsus of Ricchioso? The Traveler. Almost no details of his background are known. Those who cross his path claim later that Ricosio carried a small, strange, luminous plate that emitted a faint voice. Hmm, yeah, we can't do anything with these candles still. Oh, and that just takes us back there. But what is up this path? Oh. This takes us back here. Well, that's a good place to, to pause for now. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Did click the link, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.